The animal kingdom is larger than most people realize. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 animals you've never heard of. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're examining some creatures big and small that a lot of us humans don't discuss or even realize exist. If you have heard of any of them, you're ahead of the class. Number 10. The Snub-Nosed Monkey This group of monkeys, true to their name, have small slit-like noses and are characterized by their multicolored hair, which includes colors ranging from orange to black to yellow, depending on the species. Despite their large fang-like canines, which along with their signature noses, lends them a somewhat vampiric visage, their diets are primarily plant and fruit-based. Usually found in large communal groups in the mountain forests of Eastern Asia, snub-nosed monkeys are just the first of our entries to be endangered due to human encroachment. Number 9. The Lowland Streaked Tenrec Growing only to be about five and a half inches long, this little guy makes its home in the tropical rainforests of Madagascar. Sure, it may resemble a hedgehog or maybe even a porcupine, but with its long pointy snout and brightly colored streaks, it is definitely a species all its own. Plus, see all those quills? They're not just for poking. In some scenarios, they rub together to produce a high-frequency sound, either as communication or to ward off predators. And in fact, as far as we know, the streaked tenrec is the only mammal that rubs body parts together to produce sound, kinda like a cricket. Number 8. Gharial most of us know crocodiles have longer snouts than alligators, but a particularly long, thin snout is what makes these reptiles stand out, even among their fellow crocs. Native to the Indian subcontinent, gharials are named after a type of clay pot commonly used in the region that bears a resemblance to the bulbous nubs found on the ends of the male's snouts. Gharials are some of the most aquatic of all crocodilians, as they don't maneuver well on land and survive mostly on a diet of fish critically endangered, only a few hundred gharials are left in the world. Number 7. The Garanook This hooved mammal may be colloquially known as the giraffe gazelle due to its long neck, but it's actually an antelope. Found in eastern Africa, Garanook have the unusual ability to rear up on their hind legs, allowing them to better reach food that may be out of reach to other similarly sized herbivores. Besides its distinctive neck and feeding habit, Garanook also stand out with the reddish fur pattern on their backs, which resembles a saddle of sorts, as well as the pair of striking ridged horns sported by the males of the species. Number 6. The Okapi this elusive creature is so difficult to find in the wild that its nickname is the African Unicorn. When seen from behind, this mammal can easily be mistaken for a zebra. However, these unusual animals are actually closely related to another African herbivore, giraffes. Okapis share their cousin's slanted neck, although theirs are significantly shorter. Furthermore, while giraffes can be found in savannas and woodlands, okapis are better suited to the shrinking rainforest environments of their native Congo. The most bizarre feature of the okapi may be its tongue, which can grow over a foot long, long enough to clean its own eyes with. Number 5. The Spiny Orb Weaver Spider this genus of spiders is very much as its name suggests, as they weave webs that are circular and have spines on their flat, crab-like abdomens, which are often brightly colored. Though they are sometimes called crab spiders, this moniker is confusingly shared by several other kinds of spiders too. Their namesake spines are larger on females than males and are thought to act as a deterrent for predators. While their garish colors and spines may suggest they're dangerous, spiny orb weavers are normally harmless to humans and can be found in gardens and forests all over the Western Hemisphere. Number 4. The Markhor, also known as the Screwhorn Goat This large wild goat is native to Central Asia and is the official animal of Pakistan. Its name is Persian for snake eater, which refers to either its ability in folklore to eat snakes or else to the distinctive spiral-shaped horns seen on males. Female markhor have horns too, though they lack the corkscrew shape seen in the males. Speaking of differences between the sexes, males also have long, shaggy manes and emit a rather strong odor. Once listed as endangered, recent efforts to conserve it have allowed the markhor population to make a recovery. Number 3. The Pangolin This mammal, which is distantly related to the anteater, looks like a cross between that animal and an armadillo due to its long snout and scaly body. 
These scales are actually made from keratin, the same protein that forms parts of other animals, such as horns or hooves. Native to Africa and Asia, pangolins are, despite their obscurity in the West, the most heavily trafficked animals in the world, with trading of their meat and scales accounting for a significant portion of all exotic animal trade, which, given their dwindling numbers, remains a worrying statistic. Number 2. The Blue Glaucus Properly named Glaucus atlanticus, this odd animal is also known as the blue dragon, blue angel, sea swallow, and blue sea slug. They're found in oceans around the world and spend most of their time floating on the surface, where their coloring acts as useful camouflage. Like many colorful animals, these creatures have a potent sting. In fact, these sea slugs feed on other venomous aquatic animals, since they're immune to venom themselves, even in cases where their prey is larger than they are. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. The Pink Fairy Armadillo We saved the cutest for last. With their white fur and pink shell, these adorable armadillos look like living sushi rolls. Their habitat is a long way from Japan, though, as they're native to Argentina. Using their large claws, fairy armadillos spend most of their time burrowing underground in search of insects and other grubs, which are the primary source of their food. Because of their elusiveness in the wild, compiling accurate numbers on their population has been difficult for scientists, but it's clear that human and pet-driven predation have made these little guys much rarer than they once were. 